Good afternoon everyone, my name is Song Jun Shen and today I'm here to discuss about my FIP title which is Design and Development of Autonomous Rubber Tapping Robot for Natural Rubber Harvesting Process. So first of all you can see that this is the whole of my robot, the, ru the rubber tapping robot. This one will be the Y axis and this one will be the X axis. And the top three and this ratchet tie will be the clamping mechanism for the robot on the tree. So let's proceed to the next picture. So in this picture, I will be more focused on the clamping mechanism. So as you can see that the three balls in front of the board, which is also a rubber ball to provide friction so that the robot is fixed on the position and the robot will not move when it is clamped on it. However, this tree board is not the force to let the robot to hang on the tree. This tree board is just to give the robot to fix on the position. The mechanic, the ratchet tie, the ratchet tie which is this orange tie, will be the one who is giving the force to hang on the tree. So in the next picture, in the next video, you can see that this is the demo of the robot. So since the bark of the tree is still somehow grow in an ideal way, which is growing straight, so my robot can perform very well in this condition. And you can see that in this area, the latex has already dripped out. So let's proceed to the next video. However, in this video, the robot, the tree is not growing in the ideal position. The tree is growing somehow slanted. And you, as you can see this in this video, you can see that it's not growing in a very straight way. So you can see that in the front, it is tapping in a perfect condition. However, when it getting back and back, the tapping, the tapping depth is not getting deep enough for the latex to drip out. And this is one of the problems I have faced in my FIP2. Hence, it is necessary to add one more Z axis to let the robot to go in and out. Next, I will be discuss about how I get an accurate 30 degree for my robot. As you see here, I have been using MATLAB to get a perfect 30 degree angle. Every time my robot has moved from one place to another place, as you can see in this SOLIDWORKS, Before the robot running, I will let it to free run first, free one, so I can know how much time taken it need to take from here to here and here to here by using the encoder. There will be limit switch around the maximum of the y axis and two sides of the x axis. And therefore, I, I can know that how much value of the motor speed I need to adjust. And I need to tune to get by using this part to get and I can calculate out the angle here so that's it for me thank you